Today, I made a big head. Big head on the beach. And Christo made a big hand. This, there's the ring. There's Christo. There's, there's a random friend that just came down. Well, there's the hand. Serena. This is where we were playing music earlier. And this is where we were sitting down. A lovely sofa. Can you hold that? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> well, I've got a question about maths, which I want someone to answer. So if you're watching this and you have the answer, then please send me a message. I want to talk about prime numbers, because the way we think about primes, anything that's only divisible by itself and one, and nothing in between is a prime number. So we've got two, three, five, seven. Well, what about six? Six is not a prime, but I think myself that six is nearly a prime because let me explain 61 is a prime number because nothing between 61 and 1 will go into that but what if we put a decimal point here 6.1 why is that not a prime number because there's nothing between 6.1 and 1 that is divisible by it if you consider anything to point one, if that makes sense. So, because the same reason that 6 to 1 is a prime number, 6.1 is also a prime, in my eyes, to one decimal price. Uh, you could take it even further if you wanted to get closer to 6, because 6,000 to 1 is a prime. Let's just write that down. Now, that is a prime number, there's no number that will go into that. Well, we could also put the decimal point there, and therefore no number will go into 6.001 to three decimal places. So why is that not a prime? And we can go on to infinity, because this is just 6001 with a decimal point there. And however many points we've got to the biggest prime number, you can extend there. So, to me, there's infinitely many primes between two single digits. It just depends how far you're willing to go decimal place wise. Why does anyone else not think this? And will this affect how we can work out primes? Because if you work out the next prime, basically you're working out the next prime that hits a whole number to zero, zero, recurring. And that's what we're trying to do, but it's not the next prime in my eyes, it's just the next whole number. A difference anyway. If you could answer that, send me an email. Cheers.